Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start decluttering the study. I'll probably have to do that in more than one part because there's still a lot that I can't really declutter. Um, and well, as you can see, I'm sitting on our new sofa bed. Um, and because of that I already decluttered a lot before that came because otherwise we couldn't put it in here. Um, so I already sorted through our winter clothing and uh, through the stuffed animals we still have, some children's books. So there's already a lot done, but there's still a lot to do. For example, over there are some cabinets filled with a lot of junk, I think. I'm gonna sort through that, but there's also... Let me just flip my camera. Over there, a lot of paint supplies. The box is completely filled with paint cans. And, well, those are all covers from our bed. We put on the floor and all the brushes and the trays to put paint in. But we still need to paint quite a lot. Um, but I'm gonna check if we maybe can get rid of some and put them in the storage shed so it's not as full as it is now but well I'm gonna sort through those two cabinets and I kind of want to empty that one completely so it can just go but it's filled with tools and all that and well I need the help from the boyfriend for that I can't do that alone I'm just gonna start on the cabinets and then we'll take it step by step and we'll see how far we get. Let's do this. So that's what was in there, um, as you can see it's mostly like creative stuff and I also keep the Christmas decorations and Easter decorations in there, some posters, um, drawing stuff mostly from the boyfriend, packing paper and the mini stack stuff and some bags for the vacuum cleaner some jewelry making stuff and some binders that are all empty but I still keep those um, there's a lot of creative stuff in here that I don't really use I thought I would go for it and be creative but I'm just not that creative so it's still around even though I don't use it so I think I can toss something out and also over here in the study I now have a shelf that's half empty and I think I can put some stuff there maybe the mini stack and the jewelry making stuff or maybe some uh, coloring uh, sketching books or something like that um, so that we use those more because now they're hidden away and we don't really see them so don't really use them. So I'm going to put something over there probably. And hopefully I can empty a drawer so we can put other stuff in there. But back to this room. I'm just going to sort this out and I'll get back to you later. The famous black box is back. Um, you already something in it. This is... The boyfriend's collection of sketchbooks and coloring books and books to help you draw. Um, I'm not sure if he still wants to keep it all, so I just kept it all out um, so he can sort it through. Um, and the rest I think can go either in the trash or maybe still to a second hand shop. But I've rearranged it a little. This is now the Christmas and Easter and Halloween drawer. Didn't do much about that one because I already sorted that out. This will now be the creativity drawer. Um, I've 
thrown some things out that I don't really use. Um, but well, this is mainly all for the kilt I started over a year ago. Um, I think I will pick that up again when the weather gets colder and I have to stay inside. I'm only just gonna focus on that again. Because I'm already quite far. I have a shitload of squares and already made some rows as well. But now I have to attach the rows to each other and then make more rows, etc. etc. But I just quit. <laughs> And the top one is still pretty much empty, it's sort of a gift drawer, it has wrapping paper and gift bags and bubble wrap, because that's always easy. And then this one's still empty but might have the drawing supplies again. And this one has the empty binders. because. These are really useful and I don't want to throw them out yet, so I put them in there. And then, as I said, over here in the study, I filled this up with the boxes of mini stack. And I also put this one in here because it's for uh, putting on puzzles, so it should be next to the puzzles, right? So this space is filled up as well now. And that leaves me with an empty drawer over here. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it at this for now. Might sort through the paint, but actually I'm kind of tired. So what's left is this mess. Um, as I said, all the tools. But I have to sort that out with the boyfriend present. And he's at work now, so I can't. Um, so that's for another time, and then I'm gonna search for a box, a toolbox, which we can all put it in, so it's not tossed in a cabinet like this, because I don't like that. And as for the paint supplies, I'll sort that out later as well, and hopefully we can put some paint cans in the storage shed from the paint that we don't use anymore, because we still need to do these walls. Um, as well as in the study and all the window and door frames, but we're probably not gonna do that anytime soon. So I think I can store some paint and some walls, some colors we don't use anymore. So those can go as well. Anyway, that's it for part one of decodering the study. I'm gonna hope that the boyfriend will make some time for me soon to help me declutter all the tools. And then we can continue and maybe he can help carry some paint cans as well, because those are pretty heavy if they're still full. <laughs> but if you like part one of me decluttering the study, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the other decluttering videos, I'll put a link to the playlist down below. And well, subscribe if you haven't already, and then I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye!